Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com. This is my son Ben and today we will have a drum of the old Pultney 18 years of age. This is a brand new one. Uh, came out early 2019 and well it replaces a little bit the 21 years old which became very very famous in the past. Uh, this is a little bit more expensive than the 15 years of age, to say nearly twice the price, uh, <laughs> 120 euros, dollars, pounds. And it's unchill filtered, uncolored, 46% ABV, and a decent amount of, well, sherry casts due to uh, finishing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I really love the shape of the bottle. <laughs> it, it looks like a, a pot still with a reflux bowl. That, that really looks awesome. It's just, it reminds you of, oh yeah, that's how it's been produced. Yeah, this is a, a bottle. The bottle changed uh, in former times. There had been a offset print, a lot of gold on the label. There had been, well, a, really a huge amount of different bottles on the market. A 12-year-old, which will appear in May, June 2019 with a new appearance here. Uh, they had a 17-year-old, a 21-year-old, a 25-year-old, a lot of un, no age statement whiskies, the Navigator is still available, and uh, whiskies named after lighthouses and so on. And now the new range shows this Hurrard Street whiskey. Uh, the whiskey is named by the street where the whiskey distillery is located in Wick. And, uh, this is an no age statement, then the 15 years of age, this is new, and the 18 years, which is new, and the 25 years old is still available in the old appearance with wooden box, I think. It's really expensive and very rare, but the 21 year and the 17 year old, I think they vanished from the shelves already. And uh, the 18 year old, well, we have a look at that. It's a new one, uh, which is, well, proud to replace. Double matured in ex bourbon and Spanish oak gas, intense and warming with a hint of sea air. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah this is one of the only distilleries I know that um, that really markets from a mainland point of view with uh, the sea. Mm -hmm. Most of the distilleries that uh, market with the sea are located on islands. Mm -hmm. um, this one is, is a f one of the few. Some of them say, yeah, our lemon or something like that comes from our shore or something, but they actually s mark it with, uh, yeah, maritime flavor, I think, a bit. Mm -hmm. Because Wick is such a famous town mm -hmm. for their old herring industry. Mm -hmm. um, oh, uh, maybe they could start a herring cask, cask maturation. maturation. <laughs> <laughs> Very salty. <laughs> Mm. This is a this is a step up from the fifteen mm -hmm. in terms of definitely fruitiness and sweetness and, 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 and ten maturity. steps up from the mm -hmm. carrot <laughs> mm -hmm. and vanilla mm -hmm. and caramel sweetness fruitiness it's warm it's welcoming friendly deep dark reminds a little bit of chocolate. Really mm -hmm. great. Yeah, chocolate. Now that you say it. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> I really like that word. Not not really. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's 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 chocolatey. Definitely. Mm -hmm. That's that's what I wanted to what someone was searching for. Yeah. A little bit of honey. Mild spiciness. Overall sweetness. And you do realize it's a it's a sweet one. If, if I'd have a little blind tasting, I'd probably have um, guessed on PX, but I think it's uh, Oloroso. Mm -hmm. So it's oily, lingering, juicy in my mouth. And then as soon as you swallow, the Spanish oak appears stronger, more intense. Some hints of extreme spiciness the back, long spiciness, and it's becoming a little dry. So some citrus notes, probably that green apple we had in the Huddard, probably from the distillery character. Yeah, wonderful, long, long aftertaste. 
Your mm. turn. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's elegantly smooth, and you can really keep it in your mouth and squish it around. And compared to the what is it, Haggard? It was. It's just so incredibly smooth and. Mm. It really shows age. It really shows age. It really shows maturity. I would I would have estimated it even more. I would have said it's a twenty five year old or something like that. It's so mature and it's it's subtle. It has a sweetness in your mouth when you swallow it. it gets a bit more into the dry region. Mm. So really delicate so uh, 18, herbies and spices. Eighteen and above up to twenty five. It's very difficult to. To make our differences, mm -hmm. if you go over 25, then you have the extreme influence of the tannins. Of, so, but between 18 and 25, it's quite complicated to decide to decide which age it has. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Then again, there's an engineer <laughs> on the back, Scottish engineer. The rugged beauty of Scotland's far north coast shows no equal and Robert Louis Stevenson. He is even more famous than this Thomas Talon, Talent, whatever, uh, recorded the savage majesty, majesty of Wick's weather in his diaries with accounts <laughs> of boats emerging beat out in <laughs> teeth of black winds, wind beaten by winter storms and gently kissed by white summer nights. The brick sea Scent and air adds an elegant flourish to this charismatic single malt. Mm -hmm. So he recorded the weather. Yes. It's called, uh, <laughs> it's raining again. Time for a whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so engineers like a dram, of course. <laughs> sure. <laughs> As we said, with a 15 year old, uh, uh, the empire was run by a Scottish <laughs> people. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I like it. It's yeah. a it's a very elegant dram that you can have, and just full supercharged mm -hmm. with yeah. a well, well, sherry. I'm I'm not quite sure if you'd have more glasses of that if you're a bit overwhelmed with the flavor because it's can't you be overflamed? <laughs> well, you can be overwhelmed <laughs> with flavor. Now certain whiskeys that are with alcohol, yes, but with flavors. Oh, with flavors, <laughs> yes, yes, you can be overwhelmed <laughs> with flavors. Mm, I like it. Mm, yeah. yeah. I think it's a, a really good whiskey. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this video interesting, then please feel free to share it with your friends and see you next time.